300 plus likes and comment down CKAD and this certified Kubernetes administrator notes will be with you, right? And now I will show you how these notes have helped me to gain confidence in Kubernetes starting from troubleshooting to hands-on. Everything is integrated in this notes of many pages and this can be with you provided 300 plus likes and comment down CKAD. Now let's get started for any Kubernetes exam. You need to know what are the topics that are going to come. Even the same topics will be repeated in your interview in 2025. So make sure you are watching the video till the end. And I'm going to tell you how this exam pattern is given. What are the questions that you can expect provided you are going for an interview or going for a CKAD exam. Now let's get started. The CKA basically gets divided into multiple segments. And if you see here, the storage components of Kubernetes takes place 10% of the question where you will get understanding storage classes, persistent volumes, understanding volume mode, access mode, reclaim policies for volumes, understanding persistent volume claims, etc. And Kubernetes troubleshooting takes place around 30% of your CKAD exam or your interview patterns where you will understand how the cluster and node logging is done, understand how the monitoring applications are done, manage containerization logs, troubleshoot application failures, troubleshoot cluster component failures, troubleshooting networking. And the third component is your 15% of work node scheduling, work workloads and scheduling. So understand deployments, how to perform deployments, use config map secrets, etc. Know how to scale your applications, understand the primitives used to create robust, understand how resource limits can affect the pod scheduling, awareness of manifest files configuration cluster architecture installation which configures around 25 percent so all total you will come around 100 percent of your ckd exam and trust me the same things will be given to you in your interview of devops and sre so make sure that you get this notes by commenting and liking the video now if you see here cluster architecture uh, will basically have your RBACs, use of QBDM, manage highly available cluster, provision underlying infrastructure, perform a version upgrade, implement HCD backup and restore. And you should be able to understand the final 20% components lies in the networking and Kubernetes of the architecture. You should understand how the networking works, how the connectivity between the pod works, cluster IP node port load balancer, how the ingress controllers works, ingress resources works, core DNS and your network interface plugin. Now let's understand this is the page number one where I have shown you all the things. Now let's get into deep dive about the page number two what are the contents so if you see here the contents are very very nicely distributed and every devops and sre engineer should have this notes i'm i'm giving the surety that you should be able to understand everything in depth because it has the hands-on also so you can see here the first three pages has all the different kinds of components different kinds of notes topics which no one will tell you even the instructor sometimes fails to tell you these many uh, these many things but not notes okay so if you see here health probes in kubernetes troubleshooting kubernetes deployments rules and rule binding docker storage kubernetes storage so everything whatever is needed for you to learn kubernetes everything is covered the config maps roles cluster creation upgrade kubernetes upgrade multi-node cluster upgrade everything now let's get deep dive into uh, some of the things now as i have told you uh, your hcd backups right and uh, you will see kubernetes logging and monitoring uh, application failure troubleshooting implement imperative methods and advanced kubectl commands so this nodes will definitely going to help you in long run so let's understand what are the things. So you will see, as I have told you, some kind of hands-on is also there with the client cluster. So what are the things you, you use the commands, curl commands, hit the URL, get the endpoint, use ch mode sudo. So in order to do this, you need to make sure you have the Linux notes also, along with my handwritten notes, which I have shared on my YouTube channel. You can check that. You can prepare your notes accordingly. But trust me, to learn Kubernetes, this will be the one-stop solution for you. And how to install kubectl, how to delete a cluster, how to design a cluster, how to create a Kubernetes cluster with the help of kind command. So everything is detailedly given in this document. And uh, I would like to tell you all that how to create a multi-node cluster also plays an important role. So if you see here, how to create a multi-node cluster, if you see here, uh, three node, two workers, okay, and we are going to create a kind cluster. So you can see here, kind create cluster image uh, using the config, ma uh, config uh, files and uh, every steps are given here you don't need to buy hat but what is the primary intention to tell you is 
how to make sure you know kubernetes right step by step understanding step by step learning step by step parts now if you see here we talk about the kubernetes architecture as i always tell to all my prime batch students uh, i will tell you the same way like uh, there will be control manager worker uh, components uh, four uh, rule theory here also we can apply so four components in the master node four components in the worker node so one component is api server scheduler hcd and control manager and here you see kubelet kube proxy pod and container runtime so four four components and you will We'll see here what each component is doing everything is explained in a very very beautiful manner so let's go into the next page let's understand what is an api server api server is nothing but which continuously listen to the external calls or the internal calls within the kubernetes cluster so let's say a devops engineer says kubectl get pods the first component which listens is your api server so you see admins are eating kubectl then it will be coming to your api server and some data processing will happen so basically the kubernetes you can consider like a three tier architecture where you have a ui something is listening uh, some person is uh, putting the commands and retrieving the data from the database so hcd is kind of a database and if you see here scheduling the scheduler does the pod scheduling if you are seeing here how the pod is going to get scheduled into the components of the worker nodes right so scheduler does the tasks of uh, putting the pods into various kinds of places now if you see here little bit drill down control manager uh, this control manager is kind of a brain of the kubernetes uh, this brain is actually thinking this this brain has the thinking capability so collection of controllers so different kinds of uh, control things are present like your human brain left brain right brain center brain how they are doing so application controller node controller infra controller all this controllers are kept under the control manager and you should be able to see here hcd it's a database of the kubernetes so whatever the kubernetes done uh, from the outside and from the inside everything is stored in the hcd hcd is kind of a database i am giving you a high level but once you get the notes you will be able to understand that uh, uh, everything will be superly uh, you will be able to understand okay now let's uh, go into the deep dive of the next things uh, which are there but uh, trust me guys this things you should have in your notebook okay so work worker node components you have kubelet which actually talks with the so yes as i have told you the kubelet is very very important component of the worker node which manages the pod life cycle node monitoring resource management networking volume management so the kubelet is kind of an uh, brain in the worker node which manages everything as and uh, these nodes will definitely going to help you what is kube proxy how this ip tables are managed how this networking is managed everything will be given how the pod to pod communication is managed will be given here and container runtime so as you all know the kubernetes is built in the docker system so underlying underneath all the systems this uh, docker containers will be running so to monitor the containers you will have the container runtime in the kubernetes uh, so the container runtime is responsible for pulling the container images from a container registry creating and managing container managing container networking provider container isolation so all the things will be managed by your container runtime along with the monitoring of the containers okay now let's understand uh, some things uh, here and as i have told you under the container runtimes you have docker container d cri.io okay and our rocket also is there as part of the container runtime so what are pods uh, again pods are the smallest unit of the kubernetes which holds your applications and the containers they can have a, a pod can have multi containers in the system what are static pods what is replica set what are uh, deployments what is application controllers uh, what are stateful sets what are daemon sets what are jobs and you need to understand everything in depth how the cron job works basically jobs means cron job which is uh, as per the schedule time and if you are able to see right minute hour day of month month and day of week all these kind of a star formats right you need to remember all these things and trust me guys these uh, notes will definitely going to help you you just need to give 300 plus likes to me on this video to, to support this video and i'm going to get you so many notes like this so config map and secrets how the kubernetes manages its uh, configuration of uh, various environments and how it manages your secrets everything is written here uh, so you need to understand this and there are many many topics similar to this right and uh, so many things uh, you are going to get in this notes as i am going ahead you will be able to see different kinds of concepts uh, different kinds of hands on different kinds of scenarios different kinds of networking how the tls management is done default backend annotations in the custom uh, uh, behavior all this notes will be yours uh, and i am i am 100% telling you that this notes will help you in clearing any kubernetes exam right at least the pass percentage along with that 
you are also going to get these questions in your real time interview of devops and sre you should have the trust and this notes will be given to you so what are you waiting for get my kubernetes notes get my linux notes get my docker notes get the leadership principle notes all the recent notes will be there on my youtube channel you have to just search it and if anyone wants to clear any kind of devops and sre interviews they can check out my playlist which i have added in my youtube channel so that's all for today's video uh, grab this notes prepare trust me prepare from this notes no one is going to stop you don't need to pay any 10000 15000 to the institutes who are teaching you kubernetes but yes if you want to learn from me as part of your dedicated mentorship check out the hdevops.in website where i'm going to teach you from basics to advanced the complete devops and sre with aws and azure cloud so what are you waiting for show me in your comment section why you need this notes and 300 plus likes this notes will be with you make sure to take the printouts as i have done because i always make sure uh, i take the printouts and put it as a wall and uh, prepare from that right so this is Praveen signing off from this video meet you in the next video until then take care bye